But you know what? That doesn't matter because we have to solve the problem that we have right now. That's old news. And the problem that we have right now is we have a nation in decline and they have put it into decline. We have a nation that is dying, David. It's wild. It, it is Trump debating three people. At times, it seems like Harris is the is the moderator. Um, right. You know, and she, I'm, I'm just looking at things she's saying. But if, if we're looking at at how well people are doing, I, I think. Sadly, I think Harris is doing better than I thought she would, to be fair. Me too. Me too. I feel like Trump is not landing as hard as I would have hoped. There were there were glimpses of excitement where you think, here comes Trump, and, and he landed a couple of little ones. But I don't I, – I, 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 I dare say that if you're watching it and you're a Trump supporter, you're going to say he's won. If you're watching it and you're a Biden supporter uh, – Biden supporter uh, – a Harris supporter – you're probably going to think she's won. Um, so I, d I don't know so far that this is going to change really anything. Everything that she believed three years ago and four years ago is out the window. She's going to my philosophy now. In fact, I was going to send her a MAGA hat. She's gone to my philosophy. But if she ever got elected, she'd change it. And it will be the end of our country. She's a Marxist. Everybody knows she's a Marxist. Her father's a Marxist professor in economics. And he taught her well. But when you look at what she's done to our country, and when you look at these millions and millions of people that are pouring into our country monthly, where it's, I believe, 21 million people, not the 15 that people say, and I think it's a lot higher than the 21, that's bigger than New York State pouring in. And just look at what they're doing to our country. They're criminals. Many of these people coming in are criminals. And that's bad for our economy, too. You know, you mentioned before, we'll talk about immigration later. Well, bad immigration is the worst thing that can happen to our economy. They have, and she has, destroyed our country with policy that's insane. Almost policy that you'd say they have to hate our country. There's just lie after lie. It's... it's, it's um... They, they, the, the, the ABC moderators, if we can call them right. that, are essentially fact-checking him and debating him on so many issues, but letting her get away with every single repeated lie, including Charlottesville. Um, I, look, it's, it's, it's been a disappointing debate for a few reasons so far for me, including, and now now it's basically the end, including the fact that it was three on one, but we knew it was going to be three on one. Right. Trump knew it was going to be three on one. I feel he's been, he went in very soft and he yeah. we haven't got to see the real Trump we know and love. She did things that nobody would ever think of. Now she wants to do transgender operations on illegal aliens that are in prison. This is a radical left liberal that would do this right i don't know if that was calculated like i mm. i agree with you that you know it is a three-on-one debate they are fact-checking trump in real time and and also getting that wrong it's quite well, falsely bizarre. fact checking yeah yeah falsely fact checking him in real time she's just getting away with whatever she wants to say um but uh, like as as a trump fan i would have liked to have seen more of that Trump fire. He is the most hilarious, entertaining yeah. politician in modern history. And I'm not seeing it. Like, you know, when I was expecting more of, you know, I thought we were going to get a glimpse more of it when he said, you are Biden. That should have yeah. been the story of the whole debate. And remember this, she is Biden. You know, she's trying to get away from Biden. I don't know the gentleman, she says. She is Biden. The worst inflation we've ever had a horrible economy because inflation has made it so bad Mr. and she President, can't get away with that. Thank you. Your time is up. I, I want to respond to that, though. I want to just respond briefly. Clearly, I am not Joe Biden and I am certainly not Donald Trump. And what I do offer is a new generation of leadership for our country, one who believes in what is possible, one who brings a sense of optimism about what we can do instead of always disparaging the American people. Listen, sister, you all these problems last four years that you think you're going to fix, you're in the administration that made them. I don't think we should trust you to fix them. I expected more of that. 
I just didn't see it. Um, but I hope we all find somebody who loves us the way Kamala Harris loves aborting babies. I can't believe they spent like 25 minutes of the debate debating something that is now in the hands of the state. I mean, she's just so passionate about this. They, you should ask, will she allow abortion in the eighth month, ninth month, seventh month? Come on. Okay, would you do that? Why don't you ask why, her that question? Why don't you answer That's the, the question? Problem. Would you because veto? Because under Roe v. Wade, answer the question, you, could, you, you could do abortions in the seventh month, the eighth month, the ninth That's month, and probably after birth. Just look at the governor, former governor of, of Virginia. The governor of Virginia said we put the baby aside and then we determine what we want to do with the baby. President Trump, thank you. And Trump is right. This is not something he's going to legislate on because it's up to the individual states the way it always should have been. But, you know, tr they these moderators just let Kamala Harris create these worst case but scenarios did, that absolutely don't exist. The Afghanistan question, she just yes. refused to answer the question. Are you responding? Because she knows how guilty she is. Um, it, 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 there has been some wild moments in that that I don't think come. I don't think Trump kind of capitalized in the old Trump way. Well, I don't yeah. know. It, look, it would be hard to debate when your mic's off, especially when you're Trump and and, and you're right. quick-witted and you can quickly come up with those little snarky comments, which is the reason why they shut his thing down. But I just loved how when it came to Hamas, she, uh, when it came to the, the Israel, she goes, I support Israel and I support Hamas. I want to say now, yeah. any Jew voting for that now, any Jew right. voting for that should uh, sh should never visit uh, Israel. They should, inv they should visit an insane asylum. But when she mentions about Israel, all of a sudden, she hates Israel. She wouldn't even meet with Netanyahu when he went to Congress to make a very important speech. She refused to be there because she was at a sorority party of hers. She wanted to go to the sorority party. She hates Israel. If she's president, I believe that Israel will not exist within two years from now. And I've been pretty good at predictions, and I hope I'm wrong about that one. She hates Israel. At the same time, in her own way, she hates the Arab population because the whole place is going to get blown up. Arabs, Jewish people, Israel, Israel will be gone. It would have never happened. Iran was broke under Donald Trump. Now Iran has $300 billion because they took off all the sanctions that I had. Iran had no money for Hamas or Hezbollah or any of the 28 different uh, spheres of terror, and they are spheres of terror, horrible terror. They had no money. It was a big story, and you know it. You covered it very well, actually. They had no money for terror. They were broke. Now they're a rich nation, and now what they're doing is they're spreading that money around. Look at what's happening with the Houthis and Yemen. Look at what's going on in the Middle East. This would have never happened. I will get that settled and fast, and I'll get the war with Ukraine and Russia ended, if I'm president-elect, I'll get it done before even becoming president. I'm in Brazil, so I'm using a VPN to get on the internet. What's a VPN? It stands for a virtual private network, and you get around these government firewalls. Suddenly, the president of Brazil banned his whole country from going on Twitter. It was a political censorship move. I've downloaded the VPN from a company called PIA VPN. We've teamed up with them at Rebel, and it's a great deal. I got on the internet really quickly, safely, and even I'm a bit of a technophobe, I managed to figure it out with two clicks. And here's the great news. If you go to PIAVPN.com slash Rebel News, not only do you get a big discount, but they pay us a bit of a commission too. Everyone's a winner. Your freedom, your VPN, and a little bit of cash coming to support Rebel News. I'm using it myself to get around the censors in Brazil. You can use it too. That's PIAVPN.com slash Rebel News.